These are fillet of a white salmon. It is called autumn salmon because it is caught when it comes upstream from the ocean to its home river after September. You might say that it's not salmon, it's trout, but it's sold as salmon, so please forgive us. Today, we'll saute these filet and pour some yummy starchy sauce with vegetables on them. Okay, let's go. Hi everyone. How's it going? She's checking to see if there are any bones left. I was still looking for the name of these bones, and I found the name. They are intermuscular bones aka pin bones. They are often hidden in the meat, so touching is effective. But she didn't find any pin bones because these fillets are the tail part. I think these white things are radial cartilages. Isn't it better to have no bones when eating? So let's trim the part. This is a flour shaker that you can buy at a 100 yen shop. Do you have a 100 yen shop or a one coin shop in your area? I hope you do. You can shop with peace of mind knowing that everything is sold at a fixed price, usually 100 yen and some 300 yen in Japan. Before preparing the salmon, she prepared the vegetables. She'll use half an onion, some carrots and one bell pepper. Cut all the vegetables into thin strips. Now, let's saute the salmon. Start with medium-low heat. Do health-conscious people use non-fat sprays? In Japan, cooking oils are still popular. Okay, it's getting hot. When sautéing fish, cook it slowly with the skin side down. These fillets are relatively thin, so she'll sauté them without a lid. Salmon in particular has thick skin, which burns slowly. You can leave them until the bottom two-thirds turns whitish. Then turn them over. And heat for two to three minutes. She'll turn it over to see how it's done. Good. Turn off the heat. Transfer them to a serving plate. Next, she'll use the same frying pan to stir-fry the vegetables. While stir-frying, you'll prepare the starchy sauce. Add all the seasonings in a small bowl. Stir well to dissolve the sugar and pour about half a cup of water. You can use the same bowl. Add one teaspoon of potato starch and one tablespoon of water. Loose starch water is easy to handle so she's adding another tablespoon of water.
then quickly stir the whole pan. If lumps have formed, they can't be fixed. Please remember to make very loose starch water next time. It will thicken quickly, but because the potato starch is raw, it needs to be cooked. Continue to heat for one minute and turn off the heat. This sauce can be used with other vegetables and can also be applied to other fish. Thank you everyone for watching. We hope to see you in the next video.